Oh, I didn't see you there. My thing is totally crooked. Totally crooked. All right, so, what's up? Jacob all here. Okay, that's, yeah, I'm not like that, but that's how I sounded. So, I, I've got some science for you. And all of you have wondered what I thought about the uh, M12 job site radio. Uh, I like it. We took it on vacation with us. We didn't use it as much as we thought we would. And it's also something I'm designing uh, some 3D printed stuff for, I hope. But I wanted to get like smart and stuff and actually get some numbers. So I got this fancy little doodad and it's not a Milwaukee, but we're going to have this sucker on while we're recording. And I did some bass lines and I'm in the 30 to 40 decibels. I'm going to try to always be two feet away when I do a video. Uh, so I'm going to go over some, some thoughts on it and I'm going to go over some, some science on it. And let's talk about it first, right? So it's IP54 rated. It, it has a couple features here. USB out. This is for charging a phone or USB device. DCN, this is for charging the radio and simultaneously anything that's plugged into the USB. A battery place for an M12 battery. It does run on the XCs, no problem. A teeny little port for some AAAs to keep that little annoying clock thing from flashing. It has the double folding antenna, right? And then just general, just sexiness, right? Okay. So let's, let's put this battery back in. All right, let's get on to some of the general sexiness, right? So this radio, okay, it's an AM FM. It's got USB, or sorry, Bluetooth, and it only has USB for powering. You cannot plug in and stream over your USB connection. The top is pretty simple. When you want to set the clock, you just push and hold clock. When you want to store, you hit the preset button. It'll flash. Good to go. All that's pretty simple. This stuff, that's just, I mean, honestly, it's a little number of buttons. You don't need a video to show you how to do that. But let's actually see what it can do. So I got me some fancy royalty-free stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this thing on, and we're going to see how loud it gets. And, yeah, we're going to see what we think. So we're setting it at the two-foot mark. That's basically saying the Bluetooth is connected. And it's going to play this. I will make sure my Bluetooth volume is all the way up. Okay. So that track is fully maxed. Eighty decibels. Eighty-seven, eighty-nine, ninety. Okay, so I said it max there, it maxed at ninety-four. So here we'll do. Uh, So that was getting up to 114. Let's see if a little Tychowski. Now tell me this shouldn't be like a, a drywaller song, right? You know, they're just a painter maybe? I think painter. Still only at 114. Can't beat this. Okay, so that's not going to get us anywhere louder. Oh, we did that. Alright, 
So it looks like 114 is gonna be our loudest on this. All right. So, 114 for the job site radio, two feet apart, M12. Now, just for the sake, here's the, uh, I, I don't know what you do. This is, the, this is the one that doesn't charge anything. The only thing I'd say that's fancy about it is it has a little place to plug in something. It's M18. I've got an XC, or not an XC, I got an XC50 in it. Doesn't charge, so if you plug it in, it's just powering the radio. Okay, so where's my volume at? My volume's at half. Okay, we're two feet away, two feet away. you guys see this because I've had this battery I charged it when I put it in the camera I then turned the camera off and I put it in my bag and it sat there for about one week I come out here and I get seven minutes of charge on it so that's super awesome and these are all brand new batteries because this is a brand new GoPro 8 so GoPro are you guys uh, doing something about that because that sucks but another battery and some some interesting findings right so this one has the mid and like a tweeter in here Maybe just a tweeter. Maybe just a mid. I, don't, I can't tell what that is. But I don't know if you can hear over the video. The sound on this sucks. It just is terrible. It's crackly. It's, you can definitely tell it's clipping. Okay. On that one, turned all the way up. It didn't hurt at all. And I got to 114 on that. And I, can, I don't think I can get to 114 on this. So real quick, I'm going to do them again. Okay. I'm going to turn this guy off. I'm going to turn it back on, and I'm going to play this song, and I'm going to try to go from, you know, one to the other. So we're going to set this here. We're going to set this here. Okay. We're going to hit pl play, and you guys are going to watch. <laughs> I got was like 91 92 on the m12 whereas i did get up to 104 on the m18 but the m18 sounds like crap 
Uh, I don't know if it's IP rated at all. It can tell you that it's heavy. You can see by the sizes of them that it's quadruple the size. Uh, the other thing about this one, it doesn't charge anything. It doesn't have Bluetooth and it's only got, you know, the radio and the headphone jack. So if you have a really old phone, yay. Uh, if you're using iPhone, you can, you know, do something like this where you get the little converter. Uh, whereas if you've got the M12, you have to use Bluetooth because there's no aux jack in on it. But this thing I had powering uh, a USB cable going to my phone and I had it sitting on my desk for an entire day and it I could listen to the radio on and off but I also got it to charge now one thing I noticed is that if you don't have the radio on it doesn't always charge the phone there were times where I, I think it was either immediately after I turned the radio off that it would stop charging the phone or uh, after a little bit you can have it on a source and have the volume all the way to where it's not playing anything and then it'll sit there and power stuff uh, it will auto turn off in 30 minutes if you haven't put anything on the screen, if it's not connected to a source and it's not in radio and it's just on Bluetooth, it'll just turn itself off, which is nice. Reserves the battery. Uh, it's obviously lighter. It's got this little dual articulating, articulate, articulating antenna. I think generally you could say it's a better design. It's obviously meant for an M12 and not an M18, so it's hard for them to be identical in that way. But, you know, not a problem there. Uh, it's got... The ability to where like if you hang a screw or a nail on a wall it'll just sort of sit there and center itself and hang pretty well uh, one of the things that we want to do is work I'm working on a couple designs for some handles because Milwaukee seems to like the way their handles are so here's the M12 inflator handle the M12 light handle M12 radio handle so I'm working on something for that uh, that's going to basically be universal for those products. Uh, so, you know, first thoughts. The fact that it's IP54 means you're not going to dunk this in a pool. But if you take it to a beach and it rains or somebody leans over to hit the buttons, you're not going to have to worry about this thing getting destroyed. It's got the little rubber dust cap. If you've got a battery in it, you're going to keep that clean in there. So it's definitely a win as far as that, things go, as that goes. Compared to this, I mean, weight would convince me. Everyone's phone has Bluetooth now, so honestly, that's the way I would do it. It's sort of funny that you would plug in your phone to the USB, but then stream over Bluetooth. Why didn't they add uh, USB audio? It's, I, I mean, I know why, the electronics. 119 uh, is the price point, I believe, on this. And I'll put a link uh, in the video to get this over on Ohio Power Tool. I know that there's some deals going on this, and that's how I got it, whereas if you bought a M12 starter pack, which included the high cap XC capacity, a charger, and a small one. You could get a free tool like this light, or you could get the radio. So that's how I did it. I actually got the radio for free. Uh, I think it was 179, which the radio is 119. Let's just round that up 120 compared to 180. So it's 60 bucks for a charger and two batteries. That's not bad at all. You can't really beat that. So uh, I've had it over a month now. It's rugged. I love it. I think it sounds cleaner. And the tiny amount of uh, sound difference, as far as how loud it goes decibels, it's not worth it to get to, to have this. Now, granted, this is the old one, and it's not the packout radio, and I'll review that, but that's 300, and that's 119. So that's a huge win as far as this goes. It's nice and portable. Pretty soon, I hope it's going to be pack out compatible I'm, I'm trying uh, I'm just busy so yeah those are my thoughts I hope you guys like the video and uh, you know thanks for watching as always and as always I'm the Jake of all pack out and I hope this whole playing royalty free music thing works otherwise uh, someone's gonna you know give me some strikes on YouTube see ya